No school today for students in Crown Point after a possible computer breach. The district says their network may have been compromised. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live from Crown Point High School with the latest on this possible hack. Megan. The district has updated their website saying students will return to class tomorrow and they say the investigation into that network issue is still underway and when they have more information, they'll share it. The issue started a week ago when the Crown Point Community School Corporation's technology team learned that part of their internal network wasn't working. A third party cybersecurity firm then confirmed that the network may have been breached. As for whether students' private information may have been compromised, the district says they still don't know. But one of the reasons why education is targeted uh, frequently is because they, they really kind of get an F in their ability to defend against ransomware. University of Alabama's Dr. Gregory Bott says right now attacks against educational institutions are the most successful of any sector and the issue is getting worse. A survey indicated that 72 percent of those that were or responding said they were either in, had a, they either saw an increase in the volume of attacks or the complexity of the attacks or both. The Crown Point District has not disclosed whether or not this is considered a ransomware attack or if they've identified the possible hackers. Bot said COVID-19 and the shift to e-learning or hybrid learning exacerbated the issue for schools. So the more technology and especially the more people working remotely, the more opportunity there is for cyber criminals to attack your system and be successful in, in delivering ransomware. So the, so COVID had a, had a big impact on that. His advice for students and parents? I'd say to, to watch their own credit. If if something were to, to leak, if I'm a cyber criminal, I'm looking for monetary gain. And that might be through getting credit in your name or in your if your child is old enough in their name. Again, the district has not yet determined whether or not any student's personal information may have been compromised. I'm told the email system is still down and for more specific instructions for both students and parents, head to cbschicago.com and click this story. Live in Crown Point, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Thank you, Megan.